I'm sure that's going to be exactly what happens. Rob versus Reaper Trainer in Fuck. winner's finals. We saw... No, wrong. Oh, that's not what we wanted to see, Devin. Yeah. There we go. Anyhow, um, Dill taking the lead with 16% right off the bat. Um, Just like... Dealing really, really nice damage from the low, but Ooh. Nambu is being able to actually convert off of the gyro into the grab. Really brilliant stuff. I like that a yeah, lot. Great reactions by numbers. It's kind of his MO. is kind of uh, situational awareness. He's always been incredible at that. Oh, there. Just clipping the floor before he's able to get it out. Unfortunate for Dill. The spacing just a teensy bit off. Yes. Oh, big punish for uh, John. Oh. Nam Wow, so Numbers with the most aggressive landing option ever, just air dodging down in diagonal towards Dill. Dill was still unable to find the punish on that, really, really unfortunate there. Numbers has the gyro, he's trying to go through the deep breathing to bait out the back air, though he was not able to find it. He had the right idea, though. And I'm loving the mid-set recognition from Numbers. So, you saw in the last set, Numbers would ground uh, John with jab, 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 and not get a follow-up with Fair. So, instead of doing fair, he's actually just been charging Sun, trying to catch a landing. Oh, heck, that's gonna be it. No. Not quite yet. Um, Numbers was able to use a hitbox on his recovery to come back really nice. Just like knowing like what tools your character has. Dill, I believe, was trying oh, to make no. it. Oh no! The soccer ball has been Numbers' enemy, not his friend. The only thing that's a friend to Numbers is Ledge. Remember everybody, Ledge is friend. Ah. Uh, I don't know what Dill was really trying to go for with that back so, air. That back up actually is like a pretty frequent mix-up that Dill, Dill uses. The hitbox actually does hit on stage too. Uh, it, it is a strong kill hitbox. I've seen the mix before. Numbers positioning kind of didn't really make sense there for him to be going for that. Um, and yeah, Dill, uh, Numbers taking full advantage of the dash back and dash attacking to take that stock. And a full 60% bit of extra credit he has currently. Wow, I'm really surprised that he wasn't able to find the um, the belly from the jab. Regardless, he's just holding on to the stock. Dill getting a little bit desperate to find it. The dash attack not going to be it. Neither is the laser. He just needs something, anything. The jab oh my gosh. No ground. Oh, and, and number is honestly one of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Rob down there, killed him to the side. That's funny. Um. Oh, what's really surprising is we actually haven't seen that many. I want to say in this game so far, not, not that many nails from Dell. Oh, I mean, it's 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 because numbers has been so aggressive on the floor. Like he has an intangible upset, for example. He has up air, which is just a fast option, kind of forcing Dill like not to click that slow nair on landing. Oh my gosh! She just caught the fact that Joel dropped the shield. It was anticipating Dill to go low, tried to cover that with the down air, which did not work. Though he had. A very good idea in place. Numbers of once again using the soccer ball for a little bit of coverage. I, I mean, that had a, it is so menacing because if you shield it, mm -hmm. that thing bounces back and it's still active. Oh, yeah. So you can't go down there and chase numbers. Right, if it's moving, it's active. So you gotta be real, real careful. Similar mechanics to Piranha Plant Spike Ball. You kind of have to always be aware of where that, uh, the, uh, the soccer ball is, as obviously active hitbox along is moving. Oh. The aggressive recovery using up air to cross up number shield was not a good idea. It got him punished quite a bit for it. Ooh, big hitbox. Uh, Dill didn't find the strong hit of back here. So unfortunate. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. Numbers used uh, with its body to low profile. Wow. And Numbers obviously, as you've seen, insane mash. Like, he's gonna, not going to get getting hit by that until right around 170, 160. Um, at that point, he may as well be going for up throw. I'm sure Dill well aware of that. Um, ooh, almost getting the uh, frame trap right there. Ooh, almost getting the back air. Numbers that up be just active enough. And now, Dill in the corner. A ill-advised back air once again in the corner from Dill. It's going to cost him. Numbers ready to react with the F-Tilt. And that's going to be him going up game one and being one away from being our Xeno number 197 champion. Dill really needs to switch up his play right now. I yeah. feel like he is just unable to find a lot of kills. Numbers is living to really high percents. And when Numbers lives to high percents, you know what that means? He's dealing all of this extra credit right on to Dell. Yeah, you so lose. That's what happens. End of the day. Numbers getting extra credit is because he's, he's going to play a defensive game probably better than about anyone in New York. Um, one of the best defensive players out there. Yeah. Really heavy, uh, react really good reaction time. Really good situational awareness, as I mentioned before. 
And um, if it continues, Dill's going to be in a world of trouble in this game number two. We're going right back to FD. We'll see if it pays off for Dill. That's a big stage for both characters. So. Yeah. Um, like, once again, like, you see, like, Dill taking these early game leads. Um, and then it just, like, escapes him once. Numbers is able to get in once. Um, with, you know, with some of his, like, deep breathing extended combos. You see him, like, trying to go through those grabs, those dash attacks. That dash attack does so much damage. Wait, like, uh, already he's brought it completely back. 48%. Mm -hmm. 62. Right, it's just piling up. And just to start, I think Dill ha or has been doing a better job. Oh! Whoa. Oh, you died. He's okay. not oh. dead. I thought he air dodged. That's on me. Um, oh almost, my god. He is out of fuel, though. So if he gets knocked on the stage again, it could potentially be real, real bad for Dill. Out of fuel. Once again, he snapped back onto ledge, yeah. but really nice aggressive recovery option with the forward air right nice. off the stage, but... And the Dionic stuff is so good. Up air there, I was anticipating fair for sure. And clearly Dill was as well. Yeah, straight in. And the numbers with the mix-up catches him, and it takes Dill's stock, and it puts him in a fantastic position to move forward into this game number two, and potentially this set of grand finals in his favor. Yep. Dill just... Like, you see, like, Dill getting a little bit antsy, he's scrambling. Yeah. Um, getting hit with that F tilt, like, numbers has, even oh. after push that count, that should have been the stock. Like, you see, like, Dill laughing, like, he knows that his execution is off. Yeah. Excuse me, excuse me. Pardon? Did you hear that down air? And then that was actually numbers a spike? I would like a replay on that, Mr. Devin. Anyhow. Oh, you're, yeah. You can't do that. And, uh, Dill. Um, his facial expression amidst defeat. Yeah. But um, we're gonna see as to if he can actually bring this back. Numbers is a player that can get tilted fairly easily. Um, you take the stock here, which may very well might happen here. Look at the, the Mario Kart mash. Oh Whoa, no. no! And he's out. Um, he got out so fast. Dill didn't even get the up air out. He's got like footstool flat out. He just insanity. needs anything to take the stock and the drop off forward. And Finally, taking the first stock of numbers in the entire game. Dill needs an early percent combo, but if he keeps landing aggressively on Numbers Shield, no matter how safe that neutral air is, Numbers is so confident on the timing that he's going to parry that, and he's going to be able to parry punish that. Oh, goodness. And his recoveries have been so consistently good. Hasn't really gotten edge... Oh, God. Um, That's going to be really the up throw forward air. Edge guarded by Dill once this entire set. Um, oh? Wow, that beats the, the... Nice, great. And that's big for Dill. Now this is only a 76% game. Um, yep. One big edge guard. Numbers kind of in a position where we've seen him before. Oh my kind god. Of oh my god. Off the stage again. What kind of pressure was that? It doesn't matter if Ooh. he parried. He was just able to... Nice on the roll read by Numbers. Huge. Right now, Dill just needs to get off of this ledge, using the most out of that really safe neutral air, just mm -hmm. landing safely on Numbers' shield, using the gyro for option coverage, forcing a high recovery, but Numbers drifts back down, and Num Dill just lets him go back down. How the read? Shield is the sun. Nice parry on the back, a great reaction by Numbers. A soccer ball, Dill, I don't believe, has a jump. Still does, actually. However, running dangerously low on fuel, about half a tank left. Once again, the offstage interaction, no jump from Numbers! This should be the stock. Wow! But a beautiful drift out from numbers just to be able to subvert the down air. He was so ready for that. That's the up tilt into up air. Right now, Dill has 130, 130%. That is a whole lot of rage. Just about anything can kill either oh, player. Dill definitely th thought he was going to go on the ledge there. Oh, that spiked? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? That was a spike hitbox? Look how far away he was! Look how, look how horrifically far away he was on this. That spiked? What? 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 That is the worst way for that to end. Numbers is, is a cheeser. He's his man. He doesn't play Smash Bros. He plays Wii Fit. Look, look how far away he was. Look, look how far away he was. Numbers wins in 197. Dill is clearly frustrated. Haha, <laughs> got him. GG's. GG's. <laughs> <laughs>